Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to access the features of Google Classroom and in particular how to access digital or virtual jotters that many of your teachers will be posting. Myself, Mr Murray from Cathkin High School and Miss Brennan from Lark Hall Academy have collaborated on this Google Classroom with Miss Brennan as a teacher and myself as a pupil to show you how a pupil can access their work, hand it in and look at feedback from your teacher. So what myself and Miss Brennan have done is we've set up a fictional S3 history Google Classroom where Miss Brennan is a teacher and I am the pupil. So first thing I'd like to do is on the Google Classroom, if you can see the three tabs at the top, the first one is called the stream. So this is kind of like your Facebook, your Instagram or your Twitter stream, um, or Twitter feed sorry, where you can look at all the posts that have been posted in chronological order. The second tab is called Classwork. So down the left hand side you can see the different topics that your teacher has set up. So you can see Miss Brennan has set up a topic called Virtual Jotter and that is where your virtual jotter is and we'll get to that in a little second. And then the third tab is just um, the, the people who are in the Google Classroom. So a teacher would be able to see all the pupils that are in it but as a pupil we can only see the teacher and it also gives you the option to email your teacher at the side there. So if we look at the stream, I can see that Miss Brennan has posted some work for me to do. So the first thing that I would do is I would read the instructions that are there. So she's asked me to open up this document and look at some of the questions and pick one of the questions to answer. So if I click on that document, it opens up a Word document and Miss Brennan has asked me to select one of the questions below and complete it in my digital jotter. So looking at this list, I think I'll go with question two. So describe the methods used to discipline slaves on the plantation. So now that I know my question, I can go back and I can get into my virtual jotter. This virtual jotter has been posted as an assignment. So just now it says no due date, but your teachers can set it so that it would do on a certain date and it will give you reminders when that is due. So to open it up, all I have to do is I have to click on this. This opens up your own document. This is your own digital jotter. The only people who can see it is yourself and your teacher. So in this instance, the only people who can see this is me, Mr Murray, who's the pupil, and Miss Brennan, who is the teacher. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to put down the date that you are writing this on. So today's date is the 21st of May. So I put down 21st May 2020, and I would put the title Atlantic Slave Trade Describe question. Underneath I would want to put down the question number that I put. So I picked question two and then I could start writing my answer. So if I was starting off this describe question I would maybe do something like there were many methods used to discipline slaves on plan I will then start my answer by saying one method used to discipline on the plantations was the whip, also known as the cat o' nine tails, used to make slaves work harder. I would then continue the rest of my answer down the side. It's always good to check your spelling and your punctu punctuation to make sure it's okay. And then once I was finished, what I would do is I could click up the top that says turn it in. When I click that, what that then does is that sends that work to my teacher. I would click hand in just to confirm. And then Miss Brennan would get um, an email just telling her that I have handed it in and then she could mark it. Um, also what you can do from this is if you had a question that you wanted to ask your teacher privately but you didn't want everybody else to see it, so say you were a little bit stuck or you needed it to, um, to be explained a wee bit more, what you would do is you'd go to this section called private comments and you could maybe ask Miss Brennan for help. So I could say Miss Brennan, I don't know where to find this information hit send and then Miss Brennan would get a message saying that you have said that and she could reply to it. As you can see Miss Brennan has got back to me very quickly with a reply saying there is a word document with questions attached to the announcement before this. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this has shown you all the ways that you can access Google Classroom and especially with your virtual jotter. 